I'm Dan Johnson talking to Tom Smith here, and we are going to learn more about this airplane. So, Tom, what is it that I'm looking at here? Why do I think it's a Quicksilver, and what is it? Well, over the years, Uncle Mark uh, has built Quicksilvers from the very beginning. Back when they used to be, before weight, weight shift, they were actual kites. Right. Then went from the kites to when they were producing their kits and weight shifts. Then from their transition, and through the years, his mechanical engineering, always working, decides, we can change this, we can modify this, we can tweak that, we can make it a little more improvement. And so, all the years that he's done that, early 2000s, he decided to come up with something that we've really never promoted, because as much as this looks like a Quicksilver, it doesn't fly with all the safety built in, doesn't have the washout, doesn't have a lot of those factors. Ah, okay, yeah, this is a flatter wing, and I notice the wing tip is quite a bit different. It's got a shape to it that's not difference. like a Quicksilver. So it's definitely not a Quicksilver. When you get in this one, you get pilots to talk about, uh, or Quicksilver people, oh yeah, you don't, you got to move the stick to make things happen. And then you get people that fly these mini Mustangs. We got somebody close to us, used to have a mini Mustang. He goes, I'll fly to your house, land at your airport, and I'll take off and I'll come back to mine, and you won't even see my hand move to do it. Navette's got the instinct, if you go from a two place to an MX to this, a two place you do it, it takes a second or two for it to react. An MX, it takes about a second. Navette, it feels like she knows where you want to go and she starts to go before you ask for it. So this is one that we'll more than happily make for people, but we need to know their comp, uh, their capabilities. Sure, sure, sure. You're, so you're not going to sell this to just anybody? Not anybody. Okay. But so say the name of it for me again, please. We call it Navette. Navette, like N-A-V-E-T-T-E, -T -T -E, like that? Perfect. Okay, and great. All right. Majorly what it came out is our solo plane, which is over on the other side is navy oh okay <laughs> and so when this one came out it was gray or she was gray shorter whatnot cuter so we just kind of decided to name her navette Nav okay navette it is kind of like smurfette type of deal now uh is this a 103 capable aircraft we've never really measured it we believe it is uh the way it's set up i, I did add something to get here it'll be taken back off when we get home it <laughs> takes us over one of the limitations that Others may see that's very obvious. Well, we got a five gallon gas tank up here. Okay. We've changed a lot of stuff. We had the setting down here for the, it looks like a 2S front end. This was designed before the 2S was even out. Oh. So we're kind of. Yeah, I, I associate uh, your, your uh, uh, Mark Smith with having kind of created the steerable nose wheel. Uh, yes. Of course, Quicksilver has it now and they did yes. their own job, but before there was that, he did it. Mark's two-place, original black two-place, the way the tubes came together, he basically welded four plates together and put a bicycle gooseneck on the front and put a wheel on it, welded up the fork, and that was his steerable nose wheel. He had on his trainer for I don't know how many years. <laughs> and then finally we talked him into upgrading his two-place instead of just changing parts out as needed. Because uh, when you're learning, commonly we run into axle replacements, axle studs. It happens. Other start to, Process so of learning teaching, sometimes causes problems, yep. And uh, he's learned to minimize a lot of it over the years when he was teaching. And Andy and I are kind of going through the same deal, learning what not to let people do. Sure, right, right. Well, that's why they come for instruction. So, <laughs> And you know what? All the instruction you can afford is worth it. That's it, my it motto, and I is. believe it. And we get a lot of people that come in for that. And they can go from, we've had a G, GA pilots come in, some of them in three to four hours, and some of them take longer. And it's it's just a transition, just like you're going from uh, a Cessna to a twin or anything. We, we still want to get you type rated, so to say, to use their terminology, because this does fly so much different, and those that aren't used to tail draggers right. are not used to using their feet. Because we are a feet first aircraft in this type of quicksilver. In the air, you mean, yeah. When we're right, flying. right, right. Correct. Feet yeah. first and then. You use your feet run. a lot on landing in a tail dragger, but not yes. in, in flight. Your feet are kind of dead. So at least tail dragger people have used to using their feet some. Regular GA don't use their feet hardly right, at all. Right, just, The way I understand. Just nudge it a little bit, right? Right. All right. Which, so, is, which is fine. Those are different airplanes. That's the way they're supposed to work. But So a lot of things that are different with Navette that you initially asked in your first question where I got sidetracked because I never do that. <laughs> uh, if you notice from the other planes if, in the other videos you've done today, this is going to be about your hat brim level. 
One of the ideas they came up with when they did, thought about designing a plane 103 is what can we do? And so they said, well, why don't we take some weight out by making it shorter? Because you, if you look, you notice you're looking at the root tube instead of up at it. Yeah, yeah, no, it's uh, definitely a little so lower. So it's easily eight to nine inches lower. Eight to nine right? inches, okay. okay. So doing yeah, and you that, do that throughout the aircraft, you, you save some weight, no question. Same wire sets Uh huh. come down instead of attaching above. Uh huh. Now they're attaching way down here, which is going to be nine or so inches lower. Right, right. They had to modify steering and pedals and tweak, and when they lowered it, they couldn't use the gooseneck because everything was lower. Ah, uh, sure, sure. So they modified the gooseneck that was done, changed the angle, used a little bit bigger tubes to add structure, because a lot of times with two places they were going out, they'd make these chromoly to get them stronger. Ah. Uh. And now they decided, let's back off of that because chromoly breaks, aluminum And it's bends. heavier, right. Yeah, right. So this will bend and not be pieces. It'll still most likely stay together if something happens. Yeah, we talked so about landing like, gear problems. And, you know, right. that, that tube right back there, the landing gear support tube, that, that bends sometimes. Absolutely. But aluminum does that. It kind of, you know. It'll bow and give. And yeah, you can still so taxi much. back and no problem. But exactly. obviously replace it before you fly again. Yes, or just bend it back. No. Now you're <laughs> going to uh, you're going to uh, put this on the market, right? This isn't just your particular. Maybe this maybe this one past. is. Yes. But now you're going to market this. If item. somebody wants to, we'll be more than happy to make them. And we can also build some back into it, so we can put the wing tip back on if the taper uh. tip is too much. It's not a hard deal. Sure. Well, you guys can customize it any way you want. I mean, that's yeah. kind of kind of what you do, right? Hey, yes. And like uh, the purple plane, I'm kind of going back to that one, which you may have already done something in front of. Yep. The airfoil, people talk about airfoils and wings and how important they are. The MXL airfoil, like you saw with uh, Andy's interview before this, when he showed his plane, the camber off the leading edge much is very higher. steep. Much higher, yeah. And then comes back. Yeah, this is a much, I don't know if the camera, it's, camera it's could a, probably see that, almost, but that's a much shallower angle. Wing tip out yeah. There. So with that, it's going to give you a lot cleaner flow, less drag at higher speed, but with the qualified sails, we call it, which the factory doesn't do. It's either an MX where it's sewed about eight inches back or a sprint, MX right. or MX sprint. Yeah, this uh, this double surfacing that you've done down here, that's Two about a quarter. Yeah, that's, that's I don't know, that's a couple a of feet. Third, yes. Yeah. So uh, it helps clean up the major trash that you get right off the leading edge, cleans it up. But it still gives you a lot of what the MX or Sprint series gives you with a high lift. Excellent. So this thing is maybe a 75-foot rollout with me at 250 pounds and a 40-horse motor. Is that right? Oh, wow. So it's a Rotax 4 All right. So you're not really losing much of the takeoff shortness that a Quicksilver is known for, yet you're getting quite a bit more speed. And then just to kind of go with the point to stay in airport traffic pattern that we don't always do at home, I was able to take off on the runway here turn and do down legs and whatnot inside the plus sign of this airport so that I could uh, uh, stay outside of the airplane lanes and still be completely comfortable steering the aircraft around. Sure. And actually what you're doing is what FAA encouraged way back in the day. So you're not doing something weird that people shouldn't do. You're doing it exactly right. Somebody else's house, we're definitely going to be a lot more safe because we got faster planes around with us today. Excellent. That's a lot of great information. I don't want to cover uncover everything because I want people to come to you. So Thank where you. can they do that? We'll just say your website address and we'll put it up on the screen for folks. Trykite.com is the web. Trykite.com, okay. T-R-I-K. ITE.com. Okay. Uh, I also do the fiberglass stuff, so like seat tanks and ah, other okay. stuff. So and that's at the Smitty's Fabrication, or Fab, Fab.com. Sorry. I Smitty's, Smitty's with an S Fab, on the end. Correct. The front and the end. Yep. Fab.com. Yep. Yep. Got it. Okay. Well, we'll look for you there. I haven't done anything about this particular airplane, but lots about Quicksilvers, which look very much like this, and lots of other affordable aviation on ByDanJohnson.com. Thanks for joining Tom Smith and myself here at the Midwest LSA Expo.